Hello, this video in the Multi Device 2.0 series is going to cover setting up your project for multi device resolution in C. There will be a separate video for JavaScript, so check that out. Plus, we also explain everything around our multi resolution approach philosophy in a separate video, and we will have separate videos covering how to create backgrounds, assets, and positioning them, that sort of stuff. So, in, in here, we're really not going to discuss the philosophy, we're just going to be implementing the code so the game is all set up. So, go to appdelegate.cpp I am using an Cocos 2 dx 3.81 I believe 3.7 so it's just a couple of versions below the latest one but really any version should get the job done and the first of all if we just have a look they've got sort of their own multi-device resolution and in my opinion it's not very good the best way we believe is to get rid of all of this scroll down to get rid of all well, this we're not going to use any content scale factor we don't want any of that stuff you want to keep this as it is and now what we're going to do first of all we're going to do hash define is underscore landscape by default we're going to set it to true simply because a default project is set to landscape but if you want to set it to portrait simply go here and change it this works for Android as well so I want to mention that though I'm doing it in Xcode the process is the same because I'm just accessing the appdelegate.cpp so what you want to do is actually do hash if defined and copy this is landscape to get rid of that then you want to do hash else hash end if copy that and paste that into here we want to change this to 1136 by 768 and change this to 768 by 1136 so if you want to use portrait in your game just say change this to false and oh sorry we don't even want that we don't even need that sorry if you want portrait you can just comment this out and you will be using this resolution now so i'm just going to comment that back in just put a comment here comment out for a portrait game so if we scroll down where we got the set design resolution size we are actually happy with that as it is because we're setting the design resolution with so as of now it gets set to 1136 by 768 but if we commented this out it will be 768 by 1136 we got a resolution policy of no border what the no border resolution policy does because there's other ones like stretch and basically don't change anything and all these other different ones there's no border you can think of it as zooming in until there's no borders anymore yes part of essentially the background will get cut off but that's what our other videos cover how to create one single set of assets that run on all devices so let's just run this and let's see the fruits of our labor as you can see it was ridiculously easy to set up just a bit of code here and basically just removing some more code here okie dokie you might think why was the splash screen stretched simply because the splash screen that came with Cocos 2DX in this version wasn't the right orientation so it's nothing to do with the code at all so that works fine and if I were to go to let's say iPad Air and now run that as you can see it's looking great as well at the moment we're just using some default assets 
and what we'll be doing in a separate video is actually putting some assets that have been designed for this multi device resolution philosophy in and showing you on the different devices and how well it works on the various devices. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description. There'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video, which is a GitHub page, which also has all the source code from every other video and the multi device resolution template, which is a Photoshop file. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help us understand what you, the community, like and don't like about our videos. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.